My name is Rachel Monica Wilcox, and I am the program director and the creator of the Untold Stories program, which is a testimonial writing workshop for survivors of gender-based violence in partnership with the Voices and Faces Project of Chicago, followed by a spring showcase, a keynote speaker, and a gallery exhibit. I just remember walking in the room and feeling just like this almost sense of relief before I even started writing. Um, just like I had found my place to be my next step of my healing journey. The writing workshop would not exist without our deep drawing from historical figures, Martin Luther King Jr., Sandra Cisneros, Primo Levi, all of these incredibly rich literary figures. What I really came to realize is that um, trauma is something that has occurred for hundreds and hundreds of years and, and um, gender-based violence is something that is part of our everyday um, history mm -hmm. and to begin to like hear that and understand that in some ways was incredibly comforting. Um, I felt less isolated, I felt less alone, um, and, and more like a part of something that could create change in my community. A person whose experiences have been very deeply fracturing and, and to the point where they really trust almost no one, they'll take a book and sit in a corner and find community and then gain the courage to go back out into the world that's around them every single day and make their way with confidence. I used to kind of think it would be bothersome to share my troubles or my heartaches with others because it would burden them and I noticed that through my writing when I'm able to process it, it helps others process theirs or at least gives them that kind of nod of you're not alone. It's not just a one and done. Every year they come back to this event that we hold in the spring for our public showcase and they talk with people from different years. There's a cross-pollination. The pool of people just continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger, but we're all a big family. I have more confidence in myself. I see that writing not only helps me, but helps others get not only my voice, but uh, other people in my community, which I live in. I show them and teach them that writing is a tool to express yourself in a healthy way. Way. It's made me pursue my master's degree in English and creative writing, which I was afraid to do as undergrad, but now as a more mature 30-something, I am pursuing that dream. There's, there's a personal value to it, but there's also a community um, impact that I think goes unnoticed oftentimes. Um, that so many of us go on to um, do public speaking, to do interviews, to do education, to continue to write poetry, to publish books, to do mm -hmm. TED Talks. Um, and all of these things are, um, they're, they're part of our healing journey, but they're really part of the education of the community as a whole on the importance of um, respecting, understanding, and paying attention to sexual violence and gender-based violence. I will continue to do this because of the Humanities Project.